Hello again everyone, Coney is here. Today I'm flying from Miami, Florida to Palm Beach, Florida. I'm flying a Beechcraft King Air 350i. I've chosen a chrome livery today, so we'll see how that goes. It should be very reflective. As you can see, it looks like the sky behind it and the sun is showing. Let's go ahead and reset the view and go inside. Take off the parking brake. Actually, before I do that, let me just go ahead and set up autopilot. Usually I've done that by now. Let's set a flight level of, let's say, 2,000 feet. Pre-turn on navigation. All right. And I've taken the parking brake off already. Let's go ahead and go. Or did I? Actually, maybe I did not. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm going to push the engine up and keep an eye on not over-torquing it here, which is one thing I often tend to do. Also trying to keep us going straight down the runway. That seems to be hard for some reason, especially as I get going faster towards takeoff speed. I guess maybe the nose lifts up and you lose pressure on the steering wheel, steering tire. Okay, looks like we're ready to lift off now. So let's go ahead and do that. Landing gear up. Flaps up. Miami Tower KH383 continue for north departure. Alright, and so let's start making our turn north. Looks like a nice day here in Miami. The local time is 3.53 p.m. Okay, we're almost, uh, we're pushing our flight level 2000. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on flight level change. Let it manage that. And let's turn autopilot on. Hard to engage this sometimes. Come on. All right, I need to engage this before taking off the stick. Okay, there we go. Yaw damper. Okay, so the plane is going to make a course correction for us. Tower KH383 frequency change. Okay, so it's going to be turning a Miami little bit west is type for a bit King Air until these lines OPA converge. Lock. Request flight following. Okay, I just hit B for barometer. I noticed that the radar altitude didn't match the barometer altitude. I don't know if this means radar altitude. I'm not sure actually what that means, but in any case, we're at the correct altitude or thereabouts. Going too fast, I'm going to level off. Okay, I'm going to grab the Xbox controller. I'm curious what the reflections are like in this chrome airplane. Um, <coughs> it's probably going to really take advantage of ray tracing. Oh yeah, I can see... I just got an uninterruptible power supply that shows wattage, and I can see it using a lot of power. So that's going to be all that ray tracing, probably. Wow, all the reflectivity. Amazing. Okay, 
I was actually afraid it would look bad, but it doesn't look bad. Okay, see the plane turning back towards the correct course after making the lines converge. You can see that up here. Yeah, the chrome is very pretty. It'd be nice to find something to reflect off of that would look amazing. You know, other than just the sky and the clouds and whatever. Can I see the moon reflect in it? Might be a little too dim. Yeah, that seems like I saw I the moon. Yeah, I see it. Request clearance to transition Charlie uh, airspace. I ought to be able to see it from an angle like this, but I, I'm not seeing it. Might be too subtle. Cleared through Charlie Airspace KH383. Okay, so we must be in the Miami area still. Look around a little bit. This is a nice shot. Seems like they've given the shot camera a little bit of a little bit of mass. I'm noticing a little physics when you switch views now that I didn't notice before. Yeah, it's acting like it's got just a little bit of mass, burning off momentum when it stops. Noticing a little bit of stuttering. That's probably just I'm pushing my graphics card a little bit high. You know, obviously showing a huge number of objects right now, with all the houses and plants and everything. That's a nice shot. Alright, I'm going to drop down with the drone and look around. Um, so let's switch to that. And stay locked on the plane, but let me speed things up. that Doppler shift. Okay, I'm not sure exactly what I'm seeing here, just somewhere in Florida, somewhere between Miami and think, um, Palm Beach. A bunch of big parking lots, probably a school or something. Interesting how these buildings are arranged over here. I wonder if that's the AI making something up or if those are really like that. Okay, hmm. these don't look like houses, they look like tents. I guess those are houses. Okay. Big semi truck. Instantly turning the other direction. Okay. Well, those are just decoration. They're not supposed to be taken too seriously. Another set of very oddly positioned buildings. So again, I don't know if it's the AI doing something funny. That looks like a manufacturing plant. How come there's no cars parked? Hmm. One of the, th the jobs of the AI is probably to remove all the loose objects, like parked cars and whatnot. I'm going to go back and check on the plane quickly.
Okay, so alt airspeed's fine, altitude's fine. This wasn't the view I was expecting, but I think I went directly to the drone. Maybe so. Or not. So, oh, I know, I hit the wrong button. That's the switching between internal and external view button, which works differently when you're on the drone. But it got us there. Glad we did check on plane uh, metrics. Yeah, I don't really know what to look for here. Um, obviously, a lot of water everywhere. Wow. Is there really this much water? Why would there be all these pools everywhere of water? I wonder. Right in the center of a freeway interchange. Interesting. I kind of doubt that's what intended to be water. Just looked rather odd. Okay, what else can we see here? There's a bunch of agricultural stuff in the middle of otherwise residential. And it's kind of oddly misshapen. Okay, we're getting close, so I'm going to take over for autopilot. First, let's uh, reset the external view. Uh, I should plug my Xbox controller in, so it's less likely to try. Hopefully they'll fix that locking up issue sometime. Alright, that view obviously needs resetting. Alright, so let me turn off autopilot. Take over from here. No immediate change needed, although I would like to. I guess I, um, altitude's okay. I would like to drop in speed though, so I'm gonna start dethrottling. We're gonna need to drop a lot of speed. Keeping my arrows here pointed at this little tick. I think that's the level tick. That's the ground. That's accelerating or uh, ascending. I, th I think that's the case. It seems like when I'm aimed at that tick, that I don't change altitude. Zero alpha. Charlie, you are two, two miles northwest. Climb and maintain 2,000 feet. Expect vectors. Visual runway is by approach. All right. So we are losing speed, which is good. I'm getting a little off course. That's not. Too, such a bad thing. We're this close. Climb and maintain 2,000 feet. Expect vectors. Visual runway. Life approach. Generic zero alpha. Okay, I'm going to pull throttle down even further. Trying to landing get gear. the speed down. Thank you for the reminder for landing gear. Palm Beach approach KH383. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. KH383 Palm Beach approach. Okay, I can put the flaps down now. I'm going to put the flaps down part way. Cleared through Charlie Airspace KH3. And then have to push hard to keep from nosing up, and also I need to give it some thrust so we don't slow down too much. Ooh, this is a little tough. Okay. All right, but we've gotten down to a good speed. Put the flaps down the rest of the way once we're in the landing. Palm Beach Tower KH383 is 11 miles south with Charlie to land. KH383 Palm Beach Tower. Make left downwind runway 28 right. Altimeter tree 0 decimal 09 or wind 356 at 15. Okay, let's check the barometer. Enter left downwind runway 28 right KH383. Okay, I'm going to give it some more throttle because we're starting to go a little bit too slow. Alright, and I need to 
go towards the left here and pick it up over there. Giving it a bit more thrust. I feel like we need to be going a little faster. Just for safety. Not sure how close I am. All right, we'll just keep going for a bit. <laughs> um, I could I can look with the mouse. It's just a little hard to do that and do everything else and uh, not start losing track of things. All right, um, I am steering in the direction though of the entry, so that's a good thing. Keep heading over there. Okay, we're getting a bit of altitude. That's okay, I'll burn that off and get some airspeed back. Turning now towards the entrance. Hopefully, I'm in the ballpark. Looks like I am. All right, I think I'll go ahead and put the flaps on all the way now. Throttle down. Probably need to throttle up a bit later as we lose some of our momentum, lose some of our uh, altitude. Got a good speed going. I'm trying to stick on the right side of the pattern. I have a tendency to drift over to the left and then visually the tarmac is off center and it's hard to land, so I'm trying a new technique. Okay, don't want 
to drop too much. It does help to have both hands on the stick during this part. It's so easy to overcompensate. Alright, so I've got a good speed going. We've been stable for a while. It's heading at a slight decline. The decline angle looks like it increases as we go around this turn. It might even help me go around these turns if I'm hugging the right side. They tend to feel a little on the sharp side, but they probably wouldn't if I went out three, wide. Three clear to land, runway two eight right. Oh good, we're clear to land. Excellent. A couple clear landings land, ago, I right, KH3, landed. KH3. I didn't have landing clearance, but I had tried several times to land, and I felt like every time I tried to land a player would get on the tarmac and make me have to get up and go around. I don't know if it was griefers, but it could have been. It occurred to me that it might have been griefers doing that. Okay, I'm going to pull back on the throttle a bit. I want to keep towards 110. And I will lose a little bit on this turn, but we're going to gain some by the increase in altitude drop. Yeah, we can make this a little tighter. Uh, but the, the turn did seem a little less scary going on the outside like that, so I think that was a good decision. I need to drop some altitude, and that's going to increase my speed, so I'm going to pull back on the throttle quite a bit, and then I'll pick it back up once I figure out where it needs to be. Must be downtown Palm Beach there in the distance with all those buildings. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit up on the throttle. Keep from getting too slow. Got another turn coming up here. So. Again, I'll take the outs outside of that. Frontier flight 287, heavy 25 miles northeast, inbound ILS runway 28 right approach. Frontier flight 287, heavy Palm Beach Tower. Cleared ILS runway 28 right approach. Okay, I'm keeping a careful Alpha eye on the speed because we're come right in and land. I think our speed's actually okay. Uh, we're pretty far down there. I'm going to drop throttle just a tad more. Actually, maybe quite a bit more. Try to get the speed down. So there's a jet flying or landing with uh, ILS. I have to learn about ILS. I want to experiment with that sometime. I'm not sure to what extent it controls the plane or just tells you what to do. Okay, I'm going a little fast. I'm going to pull throttle all the way down. Uh, and then I'm going to start arcing up prepare to hover over this runway and gently drop the wheels down if I can. Okay, so yeah, staying on the right side seems to be helping. Okay, there's the rear wheels. And the front wheels. If I can get them down. Okay, they're down. Alright, brakes, flaps up. Slow down and pull off. Alright, we will do so right now. But it really makes a difference to not be going too fast when trying to land. Okay, so let's contact ground. Request taxi to parking. Palm Beach ground, KH383, request taxi to Pull out my pilot thermos and Take a sip of coffee while we're waiting. Taxi 
Taxiing to General Aviation Parking using Taxiway Charlie Bravo Cross Runway 28 Right Foxtrot Cross Runway 32 Foxtrot Hotel Juliet KH383 Alright, good, we've got um, arrows on the ground telling us where to go Our taxi speed's good, it could maybe be a little bit faster. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like I'm approaching a runway, so I should hold and look before going. Wait for them to tell me if I need to stop. I think this is a runway and not a taxiway right here, but let's see. What do I see? Yeah, that's a taxiway. That's fine. And it's still good to look. Okay, this is where the runway is. those red markers tell you the runway, so that's a good thing to look for, to know where the runways are. Okay, let's take a quick peek. Nobody on that side. Uh, air traffic control will tell us if we're going to run into somebody taking a landing here. You know, I always thought the rudder was meant for use in the air, and I think it is, but it's much easier to use and handier on the ground. I find using the rudder in the air to be problematic because it kind of twists the plane's orientation. Um, it just doesn't, uh, it doesn't naturally swing the plane around like the elevators and ailerons do. Okay, look like I'm crossing another... Is this a taxiway? This must be a taxiway. Let's see. No, it's a runway. Okay. So... don't see anybody coming in there. Let's go ahead and go. sharp turn. Didn't have to use the brakes though for that. Not sure what an egg vacuum is. turn the engines off without using the keyboard. I haven't figured that out yet. Um, okay, there we go. 
So how would one turn off the engines? Palm Beach ground generic November tree one two Gulf Sierra requesting the end of pushback. This is the generators, okay that didn't do it. Generic November tree one two Gulf Sierra request. I can turn the avionics off, but the engines will keep running. So obviously there's a way to turn them off and they're currently in the on position. Ignition. That says off though. Palm Beach ground generic November tree one two Gulf Sierra with Charlie ready to taxi IFR. Maybe if I turn off the fuel pump? Generic November 312 Golf Sierra Taxi to and hold short of runway 28 right by taxiway Julia Hotel, cross runway tree 2 Golf Bravo. Might have to Contact actually go online and on one one read the manual one or something. Ready. There's a button up here I can't see. What's that? External power, right? Short runway 28 rise using taxiway Juliet Hotel cross runway tree 2 Golf Bravo generic 2 Golf Okay, well anyway, I'll go ahead and use the keyboard control shift E, turns the engines off. <coughs> I think I can hear them cooling down. We can turn off the warning. warning okay. It's just the well, pressure warning, I think. And parking brake. Alright, so engines are off. Let's turn off the plane itself. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.